Okay, welcome back. Episode 132 of Chaotically Intolerant. I am your host, Alex Boyajan. We are in the same room. I don't know if I can even reach across and touch. Touchy, touchy. I think they I won't think... even know though, but yeah. Um, but you can see the wheel here. This is our first in-person experience with the wheel. I'm actually going to put it right in the middle. So absolutely nobody will be able to see on YouTube or I can bring it and show them that. Wow. That you can't it's see teleported. anything. Um, Layton, it's a big week for you, but we're not going to talk about the Tampa Bay Buccaneers because it's on the wheel. So we have to hope and pray that we land on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. We're talking about it regardless. No. There's no way we don't. It's so awkward watching the wheels. It's, it's just like quiet. What is that? Oh, Bill Belichick. Bill Belichick has interviewed for the Atlanta Falcons job. He's had a second interview now. Um, this feels like a Joe Flacco going to the Cleveland Browns. The, the Falcons are trying to break the curse because they haven't been the same since the 28-3 Super Bowl. They haven't even, I don't even think they've been to the playoffs since the 28-3 Super Bowl. I don't think so. Um, they're trying to break the curse here. Do you think Bill Belichick can? I mean, we saw what happened once Brady Law left, and then now it's just like a bunch of rookies. See, I mean, the thing with the Falcons is that they have one of the best rosters in football, and their head coach was such a moron. He, he wouldn't he wouldn't even design plays for any of his top three guys. They had B. John Robinson, Drake <laughs> London, and, and Kyle Pitts, Florida Gator legend, by the way. Um, and they haven't done it, like almost nothing. It, that team should win like 10 games a year at the very worst. And I think they won like six this year. Mm-hmm. And the measly, measly NFC South as well, where they get to play the Bucks twice a year. They get to play the Panthers twice a year. They get to play the Saints twice a year. Sounds pretty tough. Horrendous <laughs> teams. Sad, disgusting, horrible teams. Um, Bill Belichick is going to feast for about five years, I would say. I think he's going to feast for five years, and then he's going to retire because it's just too easy. Because he's going to get sick and tired of having to play the Bucks at that shithole nah, Raymond James. He'll get sick and tired of Baker Mayfield baking all over him. And then <laughs> his team never goes to the playoffs because they can't win the NFC South. Baker might not even be your quarterback next year. Uh, pay the man. My goodness. They should. I'm excited for him to come back. They like, should. I, do, I want him to be you know, my fan- franchise quarterback for a while. But the, Jay- the, the Glazers who own the... The, the literal Glazers, that's their name. Not not that they're glazing all over Baker Mayfield right now. I don't know if they're going to want to pay him. He was brought in. He was brought in as the guy that was like, oh, we don't like you, but you're just going to play quarterback for us for a year. I mean, at the same time, though, I think Baker Mayfield wants to stay there because he's never had job security <laughs> in his career. And now he's surrounded <clears throat> by a team that is kind of. Yeah, and works with him instead of hey, you were you joined our team twenty four hours ago. Let's ball. <laughs> Listen, he can do it with twenty four hours notice. He can do it with weeks notice. He can do it. I mean, I mean, I think it was also like poetic that he beat the Panthers too to to go to the playoffs because mm-hmm. they were the team that cut him. They were the team that didn't believe in him. They were the team that took Bryce Young. They were the team that hired Frank Reich and then literally fired him thirteen games later. Um, so I think his balls are feeling pretty big right now. They're feeling pretty swollen, I would say. That's I think that's the only reason they beat the Eagles. I mean, the Eagles are bad. Like, are you are you dancing on the graves of the Eagles right now? Because the Eagles are just bad. No, I feel bad. It was hard to be super happy. It was I was overjoyed at the beginning of that game because I was so glad the Bucks took a good commanding lead right at the start. But then that second half was just more depressing than anything watching Jalen Hurts get sacked in his end zone and then they can't get a first down to save their lives and yeah because you know there's you know a part of my heart is with the Eagles so it's you know I wanted my Bucks to win because that's who I'm going to choose first but I didn't want to see them devastated and I know my grandpa was watching the game rooting for the Eagles so sorry for your grandpa <laughs> But to watch the Philadelphia <laughs> Eagles collapse like this just makes me so happy. 
interesting. Do you think Nick Sirianni should be fired? Fuck no. He I, he, he took... All right, so I'm going to give a time. I did this on Thursday, but I'm going to do it again because it is just such a ridiculous thought that, that mm. this is even being said. He took a a 4 and 11 or 4 and 12 Eagles team mm-hmm. that had just fired Doug Peterson that had basically just traded away Carson Wentz. Mm-hmm. He took that team to the playoffs the very next year. He li- they went 9 and 8. They lost that playoff game to the Bucks. Mm-hmm. But they still went to the playoffs with a first year starting quarterback. Um and and then the very next year he goes to the Super Bowl. I mean they're they're a juggernaut the very next year. Go to yeah. the Super Bowl, lose, and then I'm gonna say this is a Super Bowl hangover. If if they started like if they started the season how they ended it, and then they went on a run late in the year, everyone would be like, Oh, Nick Sirianni, there was a Super Bowl hangover, and then he brought him back, and yeah, they had a tough one in, in Tampa, but that was a great comeback to make the playoffs. Yeah. That's it's this is insane that we're even talking about this, and it's the most entitled thing from Eagles fans I've ever I, seen. I completely agree with you. And I saw, because during the Bucks game, one of the announcers said that, like, the Eagles owner swaps out head coaches very quickly. Like, he has no patience. Oh, them. yeah. I mean, he's a typical Eagles fan is what it is. Yeah. He's, he has no patience whatsoever. Yeah, I stand by Nick Sirianni. I still think Jalen Hurts is a great quarterback. I think he – um there was – more at play than just oh he's not doing good towards the end of the year. Did you see Homeboy's finger a week before the Bucks game? What is with the finger? Everyone's everyone's talking Have about you the finger. Seen the in- yeah, I saw it. It was disgusting. But like, I don't know. Stop bitching about the finger. Yeah, but like, okay, imagine someone just does that to your middle finger, and then you know, a week later they're like, okay, go <laughs> hop out and play football. Like, ugh, that's. You have you have former number two pick Marcus Mariota right on the roster. He's yeah. your backup. Former number two pick, um, caught literally threw himself Whoa. threw a touchdown to himself in a playoff game before <laughs> against the Kansas City Chiefs. Mm-hmm. Well, even still, I don't even think Jalen Hurts played that bad against the Bucks. Like he was still getting the ball out and whatnot. He just had Devontae Smith, Dallas Goddard got injured during the game. So did Julio Jones. I'll say this. I'm going to give you a stat right here. Oh, yeah? I'm going to give you a crazy stat. Actually, hold on. I, I need to confirm this. <laughs> <laughs> He's making up stuff. Where's your source? Source? It came to me in a dream. Dude, don't. Oh, okay. Um, I'm, I'm going to give you a crazy stat. That I, think Eagles I, know, fans, I think I know the stat you're going to give Eagles fans aren't ready for this. I don't know if you know this. I think I do know what. Jalen Hurts has two career postseason wins. Marcus Mariota has three. Three postseason wins. Oh. He won three games with the Tennessee Titans in the postseason. Wow. Um, Some are saying Jalen Hurts should be Marcus Mariota's backup. Some are saying that. I have heard that. I don't agree with it, but. I am some. Bruh. (laughs) No, I'm, 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 I'm kidding. No, uh, I Marcus mean, it's like, is, I mean, he's washed, like he's 30 years old. Yeah, and I get that Jalen Hurts had a poor end of the season, but the entire team did. No, that like, entire team quit. They they, they looked like mm-hmm. they quit, but they didn't quit on Nick Sirianni, which is like the thing. Like, it, he especially shouldn't be fired. Like, Antonio Pierce just got hired today as the official head coach now for the Raiders. Yeah. That was the guy who was the interim. And, and I think Devontae Adams and Max Crosby both came out and said, we're like going to request a trade if you don't hire this guy. And I feel like the same thing for the Eagles players. Like um, I think they asked Jason Kelsey about it. He was like, what are you talking about? Like Nobody, he's not going anywhere. He asked uh, Fletcher Cox who might retire with Jason Kelsey, but even he was like, I've never heard of that before in my lifetime. You guys are on drugs. Mm -hmm. Um, And then they asked Jalen hurts in his press conference. And he was like, no, like what are you you talking about? So I don't think, I mean, it, it obviously could happen. Howie Roseman can, you know, he might he might do it, um, but I don't I don't think it's happening. Yeah, it's crazy that he's being called for it, though. I mean, I understand the offensive coordinators need to go, the offensive and defensive coordinators need to go, mm-hmm. um, because Shane Steichen was the real head coach of that of that Eagles team, the the Colts head coach who was the offensive coordinator for the Eagles last year. Nah, 
Uh, actually, it's hilarious because right, Nick, Sir- right, Nick Sirianni, right. Nick Sirianni was a great offensive coordinator for the Colts the year um, Philip Rivers was there. But I'm here and now. My my sources are telling me that AJ Brown might want to come to the Colts because of Shane Steichen. How would you feel about that? Yeah, whatever. What I... are you going to do without AJ Brown? Jalen Hurts is going to have nobody to throw to. He's a system quarterback. Dude, I'm a Bucks fan. Go Bucks. I don't I mean, like, we'll see what happens next year. I don't I don't know if the Eagles are gonna absolutely collapse and be a poverty franchise for like a year, or if they're just gonna play about the same, get close to the same record as they did. I think it's gonna be they're gonna get a similar record to last year. Um and probably not without Adrian Brown. I think they'll survive. Uh it's gonna be Michael Pittman Jr., Josh Downs, AJ Brown, Marvin Harrison Jr. coming to the Colts. All that just to not make the playoffs because of the Jaguars loss. Um, Anthony Richardson, <laughs> quarter starting quarterback. Uh, Why not? Jason Gardner Kelsey, Minshew? Jason Kelsey, offensive line coach, assistant offensive line coach, because he has also expressed some interest. Um, Andrew Luck, quarterbacks, <laughs> assistant quarterbacks coach. <laughs> Jonathan Taylor and Zach Moss, dual threat running backs. What else? Oh, um, uh, uh, the guy for the Chiefs, the safety for the Chiefs on defense. Can't remember his name. Jalen Johnson, cornerback from the Chicago Bears, coming to the Colts. Third ring. Third <laughs> ring is incoming. The Bucks will get their third ring before the Colts do. Third ring is incoming. Um, so that was great, Bill Belichick talk. Great talk about. I'm, yeah, I'm glad we washed. really got. We that really got. Washed. We really got into the to the nitty gritty of Bill Belichick in Atlanta. Let's give her another spin. It will be cool to see what kind of impact he does have, though. Yeah, I think they might like go to the Super Bowl. Sporkle. Oh, oh my boy. goodness! How are we gonna do this? I'm gonna have to figure this out for a second. Oh no! Oh wait, yeah, I can. Okay, hold on. I'm actually gonna put it up here. Believe it or not. Are you able to stream it onto the podcast for them? Yes, I am. <laughs> He's big brain. I'm gonna have to edit this part out. Just completely <laughs> turn my back to the camera. I know. What what great pie <laughs> what great YouTubing this is. <laughs> Jalen Hurts playoff right? I I did see I thought you were gonna say the statistic that um Jalen Hurts had twenty three touchdowns in the regular season. I think twelve were tush push. Yeah, uh, he's a tush push merchant. Yeah, totally and that's fun. that's pretty horrible to have like eleven actual touchdowns. Is there a Daniel Larson? He's he's <laughs> he's going off the deep end. I'm just curious more than anything. Wait, I can't. Daniel, spell. it's his girlfriend. <laughs> no way! Somebody made one. Well, looks like we're we're playing. Daniel I, I don't even. Horrible know how I would know any of these answers. <laughs> I don't, we're not even going to play this. We're going to look at the questions. Who is Daniel's true love? Grace Vanderwall, obviously. Um, okay. That's that's an easy one. Uh, who did Daniel begin crushing on after finding out Jacob, Jacob Sartorius stole his girl? I can't answer that. What is the name of Daniel's professionally produced hit single, Roaring Thunder? Great. It's actually quite a good song. Okay. Roaring thunder, northern lights, through the night. <laughs> uh, what does the P in PRE stand for? I don't know. I don't know. I was. Where was Daniel banned from during a live stream of July <laughs> of 2021? Don't know. Which popular rapper does Daniel frequently ask his followers to tag in his video? Don't know. How many megabytes of CP did Daniel <laughs> admit to having? Don't know. I, I think it was like two. It's a lot. Uh, which did Daniel famously say before performing jumping jacks in a viral TikTok? Oh, oh, um, Black Lives Matter. That was what he said. It was the heart one. Uh, let's see. What is the name of Daniel's upcoming album? I have no clue. 
Which record label tried to make Daniel masturbate? All of them. <laughs> what does Daniel frequently tell his fans to do at the end of his videos? Um, oh, stay tuned. Stay tuned. I'm staying tuned. Yep. Uh, what does Daniel... E oh, wait. What substance famously covered Daniel's screen for a long period of 2020? The fog. That's it was it was most likely his face oils or poop. <laughs> Possibly poop. <laughs> what did Daniel say to Mike Hunt? <laughs> I don't know, man. Uh what state does Daniel live in? Colorado. Denver, Colorado. Um where did Daniel get drunk? After walking to a place outside of Denver. Don't know. Finish the line. Do I look nice or do I look like a lizard that just came out of a... I can't... I can't out of a rock? I don't know. Um, which company tried to use Daniel as a scam to do porn? Whatever <laughs> company Stephen Hawking works for. Uh, <laughs> uh, finish the line. See you on... No clue. Who leaked a text message which showed Daniel's ding -a -ling? Sadly, I have seen that. I don't know who leaked it, but I have sadly seen that. It's gross. For a period of time, Daniel only posted videos in a room that was painted entirely in one color. What was the what color was the room? The pink room. <laughs> pink. M more of a salmon, honestly. Uh, who did Daniel wish his 69th birthday to? Don't know. What color shirt was Daniel wearing during the audition incident? Man, I really don't know enough Daniel Larson more than... You know what? I know more than enough of Daniel Larson more. Let's, yeah, let's pause the brakes on that for a second. I know more than enough. I was trying to look up the Daniel Larson text messaging photo, but I don't, don't have know. No, I mean, you got to go to the Reddit for that. <laughs> you have to find the Reddit. <laughs> um, Daniel likes how butterflies poop out rainbows and rainbows fly like... No, I don't know. Um, and what song does say, does Daniel say stop the riots? Donald Trump is very biased. Don't know. Where did Daniel Larson riots take place? I would assume Colorado uh, or Orlando. He was in Orlando for a little while. Daniel spread the message that there was a celebrity in the hospital. I think it was hospital. Pretty sure when he got sent to the mental hospital. Which YouTuber filmed a real life video with Daniel? I don't know who the YouTuber was, but I know it wasn't like Mr. Beast or anything. Which pronouns did Daniel change to when he decided he was going to be transgender? <laughs> Popular country music star, as Daniel mentioned in multiple videos. What day did the incident occur? Who was the username of the fan account who posts constant updates? Which famous comedian did Daniel raid the comments of on TikTok? Daniel supported a cause. Daniel Larson, cash app. What cause was he supporting? I have no clue. I think Daniel Larson, money cause. That's it. Well, that was a waste of time. That's like a world of t-shirts. You know world of t-shirts? I'm just curious if he has anything. We'll, we'll move on from this. A short guide to comparative religions. I don't know what that is. Let's do movies. Let's look at... No. 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 I feel like... Can't they just do... Fur coats in movies? 2023 movie characters. Let's do this one. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Uh, well, that's Barbie. Mm -hmm. oh, play quiz. Oh, so then you click Barbie. Oh, oh, oh. And the Wasp. There. I feel like this one is a little more complicated of a name. Let's yeah, do the girl. Let's go. Ghosted, That's definitely it. that one. Yeah. It was, it was not a good movie. Yeah. 80%. We would have gotten Lucy Gray, too, but because um, you had clicked right at the start. Let's do 2022, and then we'll move on. Okay. This is 20, what time? 9.30. <laughs> we started a lot later than I expected. Play quick. Okay. No. Nope. Nope. Oh, right. yeah. Kiki Palmer, yeah. Black Adam, of course. Uh, Doctor Strange. Multi oh, yeah, top left. Because that's, that's America. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, Scream was this one. I think so, that's too. Because that's the girl that people get obsessed with. And I don't really understand why. 
Oh no, that's not that's not who I'm thinking of then. Prey, that one. Maverick. Mm-hmm. The guy that gets to take a shower with Sydney Sweeney in her new movie. Oh that. That. Boom. Nice. I'm so goaded. Bro, what the fuck? Okay. You wanna spin it this time? Let's do this. Layton's choice. Oh no. Oh no. So what I don't tolerate is Buccaneers disrespect. We're in this playoffs. We're going for our third ring. Easy dub. Easy win. I think this Lions game will be a close one. And the Bucks are gonna win it. I'm sorry, did your team make the playoffs? When was the last time the Colts were in a playoffs? When was the last time the Colts won their division? What, like nineteen seventy five or something? I don't see how the Colts are in relation to you guys. Um, the Colts was a, would My have also won the NFC South. My team's just better. The Colts would have won the NFC South anyways. Um, because <laughs> we didn't. have the tiebreak over the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. But, well, um, you could have just beat your opponents in the division a few well, more times. Houston deserved it more than us. They were more fun of a team. Um, I, I and Now that I'm out of the season, I can recognize that Houston was a more fun team than we were. So you got me there. You got me there. Um, what if I told you that the entire city of Detroit will burn down, including Baker Mayfield will burn in the, in the flames if the Buccaneers beat the Lions? Are you willing to sacrifice? 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 They win. The entire Tampa Bay Buccaneers roster they win. for a divisional round playoff Security win. Security chases follows them out of the thing. They hop on a plane. They're gone in 10 minutes. Detroit is reduced to ashes within three hours. If if I know Detroit like I possibly know Detroit, <laughs> they don't care about security or police over right. there. The Eagles made it out of their stadium. Or well, who did they? They played the Patriots in the Super Bowl. Oh, wait, that wasn't. No, what that wasn't in Philly. What are you talking I'm, about, Rube? You mean I'm, the Chiefs? I'm being small brain. You mean the Chiefs? No, when the Eagles beat the Patriots in their Super Bowl, and then they burned down Minnesota. Philadelphia. I know. I was thinking, you know. But anyway, Bucks get out of there. We sail away across the li- blizzard skies. Um, Easy dub. There should be... I, I'm trying to find... Because we actually have a little bit of a... Uh, What's it called? A um, little bit of a audio thing here. I'm, I'm trying to... Uh, a soundboard. We have a little bit of a soundboard. So gotcha. I'll be there wearing my Mike Evans jersey and my Buccaneers sweatpants. Dripped out. I wonder why this isn't playing right now. I would like to, I would like to listen to this, please. Looks like we're not getting any sound. Any soundboard for anything. Um... Colts fans, stay mad. We're just gonna erase late. Every every season, here. Alex goes. Next year's our season. Next year we get AJ Brown. Next uh, year, next year we do get. Next AJ year, Brown. Tom Brady comes out of retirement and plays for the Colts. I I I, I don't want that. Next year, Andrew Luck comes back. That's, next, <laughs> sadly, that's never happening. Sadly, all right. I'm spinning because your topic <laughs> sucks. I had all three of my teams make the playoffs. <laughs> Immaculate grid. Let's go. <laughs> Get off that fucking I got the topic. Eagles, the Bucks, and the Ravens. Oh, all shut the, up. All in the playoffs. And now my Bucks are going to meet my Ravens up in the Super Bowl. Sorry, Lamar. You're going to have to take another year that you don't get a Super Bowl. You're going to have to throw in another couple of perfect games. <laughs> um, I wish I was as delusional <laughs> as you could be. If you yes. think the Colts are going to win their division in the next two decades, then you're delusional. Um, <laughs> then I'm delu- as delusional as you are, yes. Yes. Uh, I, mean, I want the Bills to be the Chiefs so bad, though. Anywho. Um, they also, they're, they're be jumping in the pit a lot. The pit. <laughs> I saw that pit. post. My, that's my favorite. That's my favorite storyline from this game. I want them to win just so they keep jumping into the pit, mm-hmm. and then they have they have a watch party from the pit for the Super Bowl. That'd be awesome. Adrian Brody, the pianist. 
a penis. Got a penisist. I really like that movie. Is it a perfect representation of you? No. Yeah, I, I'm just. I've I've only seen the scene where he's walking down the street crying, and his face looks hilarious. Oh well. Um... Oh, Heath Ledger's The Dark Knight. <laughs> Scarlett Johansson. Did she get it for a Marriage Story? Probably. Wait, hold on. I have no idea what else she would have done that would have gotten an acting Oscar. What about, well, just a nomination. Yeah. But what about... Black Widow in The Avengers. <laughs> what about that movie um, she did... I know she did... Her. A, she did a full frontal in that movie um, that I'm thinking of. <laughs> That's all you're thinking. That's literally all I know of the movie. Um, fuck, I can't remember it. All right, let's just do Avengers. The Avengers. Uh, do I want to do drama? What was another drama she did? Oh, she was in The Prestige, but that's not a drama, and I doubt she got a nomination for it. She was barely in it. Also, for Adrian Brody released, you could do Midnight in Paris again. Oh. I don't know what his drama would be. Oh, big brain. Oh, let's go. <laughs> uh, Heath Ledger, 1995 to 2015. Um, he was in 10 Things I Hate About You, right? He was in uh, Brokeback Mountain or whatever. <laughs> Wait, that's, a, that's the drama. That's, that's the, the drama. drama. Wait, I'm actually going to avoid 10 Things I Hate About You for right now. Your favorite movie? I think it's yours because you came up with it. I've never seen it. But I, think of it. I I've never seen it. See it. <laughs> I, I do too. I I'm would like intrigued. to watch it. Well, I hear about it so much. Like I kind of <laughs> like, all right, well, I feel like I should watch this now because they make the jokes. Um, I feel like it's got to be, or I have no idea what, I feel like Marriage Story is the only. Like that, that Oscar one, like, it's like, under the skin or something like that. I can't remember what it's called. Beneath the skin, maybe. Something skin. It, it it's like a it's it's a sci-fi movie. I have no idea. You're on your own for that. Yeah, it's gonna be tough. Did any of the Avengers get nominated for anything? I hope not. <laughs> Superhero <laughs> movies rarely get nominated for anything. Yeah, like even if it's a good super, like any of the Batman movies. Didn't get anything. Well, except for Heath Ledger. Uh, I'll do a marriage story. Well, but she does. She, I'm sure she's done other dramas before. You can um, do her. Her is a drama and she's a voice actor. Oh, but did she get nominated for that? I doubt she would for being a voice actor. Let's just... Let's, let's, let's. I feel like if it was between marriage story and her, I would do marriage story for the Oscar. Well, I know... He was in The Patriot with Mel Gibson. Nice. Oh, 3.3. Big bigger brain. Bigger brain. Bigger brain. Lick my balls. Uh, Adrian Brody, drama. What other drama was he in? What was that movie? He was a teacher. Oh. And it was in, like, uh, inner city school. <laughs> I literally was just thinking of what is the what is the word inner city like what is that word i was not trying to make and, uh, up another one of name those schools. <laughs> oh my god <laughs> we might have to cut that. yeah we have to remember to cut that <laughs> 30 30 that's the time stamp for me to cut that and scene okay uh what was that movie he was a teacher in i have um, no idea I don't, I literally can't think of anything else he was in. I'm going to say, hey, I don't blame Joaquin Phoenix for falling in love with that voice. Okay. I don't blame, I don't blame him at all. Uh, oh, um, a, I think it's just marriage story. Please. There we go. Let's go. Um, oh man, the drama is going to be tough. I mean, he's not in that much. Was what was that Wes Anderson movie he did? The Hotel. Was that a drama? I feel like, or uh, the the something with a B Hotel. 
Grand Budapest Hotel. Yes. You could try it. I, I have mean, that's no. That's the only one I can think of right now. Yeah, I don't know what he's in. Because he, he really isn't in that much. Hold on, I'm trying to think of one more just in case. Um, I can see him in a suit in a bunch of movies. That's that's the pianist and the teacher movie. But I it's can't... even Midnight in Paris. He's supposed to be a, a famous. I think he's Salvador Dali. He was also he was also in the new. Um, he was in uh, Winning Time, which was about the Lakers, but it was a TV show. It was a drama, but it was a TV show, which sucks. I'm just gonna say Grand Budapest Hotel. Okay. We're not gonna remember this. That's huge. Is that our first time winning the whole thing, dude? I'm we're goaded. We're goaded. Let's go. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Top 26% of players today. This is still not good enough, though. Yeah, that actually isn't that good. <laughs> 10 things. I mean, a lot of ours were chalk guesses. Oh, Asteroid City. I was wondering if we should do a more obscure uh, Marvel movie for her. Just to get our percentage down a little bit. Like Age of Ultron. No one's going to do that one. Was that? I think that was 2015, though. That was like right on. I, that might have been 2015 oh, yeah. or 16. It was like right on the cusp. All right, let's do one more spin, then we gotta get out of here because it's closing soon. So, um, closing time. Open all the doors and let you out in to the world. Okay, one more spin. Spin it. Uh, New. What the fuck? What did I even write? Oh, Adam Sandler movie. There's a brand new Adam Sandler movie, and motherfucker, I'm gonna have to project the screen again. God damn it. What's it about? What's it called? Uh, it's called The Spaceman. It is not, actually, it's not like a typical Adam Sandler movie. It's more like Uncut Gems. But we can do it. I think I did hear about this. Space... Thank you. I think I did hear about it being like a more intense role. Yeah, he's, I, I like that he's branching out a little more. That's, I like that because he's such a great actor and I don't think he really gets the Hold on, I'm gonna project the screen as well. Dude, this is this is a disaster. Okay. Uh, courtesy of Lights Camera Bar School, by the way. Eighty-nine days into your solo journey. Commander Frahanska, how are you feeling? <laughs> What I'm doing is for everyone back home, and that makes me very proud. And your wife, Lenka, of course. I'm sure she's looking forward to head with your mom sick and sad. He's not doing well. He misses his wife. And he's Six months of that's for you. I'm here to interference. I did not intend to frighten you, skinny heel. Do not be afraid. I lose my mind. Oh man, what the giant spiders? I am like you, an explorer. You are. Nothing is intrigued me. Are you here? I wish to assist you in your emotional distress. Oh, God, Angel. What do you do? Lisa, your songs. I am simply finding them with you. Okay. 
<laughs> I'm an Adam Sandler fan, so I'm I'm just gonna give him the benefit of the doubt. Almost anything he makes is good, except for Hubie Halloween. That was horrible, and they made two. I don't know how they made two, but they did. Um, but if it's a serious Sandman movie, I'll watch it because Hustle was great and Uncut Gems was great. So you can't miss a third time in a row, right? I hope not. But the giant spider really. I hate that type of villain. Just spider. I don't. I don't understand why. Why does it have to be spider? It seemed like shock value or something like that. That they want to go or just keep you on your toes, unnerved by just using one of the most common things that people are afraid of. That's true. Um. All right. Well. Whoops. Go. Go over there. Go over there. I'll try and watch it. But I'm not um, expecting it to be mind blown or anything. Hey, we can live stream us watching it. Because mm-hmm. I, I gotta get into some sort of live streaming. Um, anyways, thank you all for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment, share, uh, follow us on all of our social media pages. I've been doing a lot more videos and stuff like that um, on our Instagram and TikTok. So uh, I hope you guys find this funny. Um, thanks for watching and we will see you next week. Bye.